Now that the regular season has come to a close, let's do one final update to my ongoing NFL tier list project. For this final episode, I will be updating the categories to match the fact that we are now in the playoffs. The categories will be brand new and they shall be as follows. Super Bowl contenders, can make Super Bowl, divisional round locks, total wild cards, first round exits, how are you even here, and eliminated teams. These categories should be self-explanatory. If you need any clarification, let me know in the comments below, but I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so the first step in this process is going to be to put all of the teams that failed to make the playoffs in the eliminated category. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and move on to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens are a scary team to face. Their offense is elite, led by Lamar Jackson, Gus Edwards, Isaiah Likely, and Zay Flowers. Not to mention the fact they have OBJ, and their defense has been one of the better defenses in the league. Overall, the Ravens feel like a complete team. They are Super Bowl contenders. Moving on to Buffalo, the Bills somehow willed their way into the playoffs by winning the AFC East to get the two seed, but I still can't shake the feeling that this team is just missing that it factor. They have elite play at the quarterback position, but they just they don't seem to be winning games too convincingly. So I'm going to put them in divisional round locks. They should make it there. I don't know if they make it further than that. Up next, we have the Cleveland Browns. The Browns season was dead in the water with their quarterback play when Deshaun Watson was out, and the rest of the season was considered lost. But they managed to find an absolute gem in Joe Flacco. At the time, I thought Flacco was washed up and not really that great, but he has been elite, and the defense in Cleveland was always good. No questions there, but when they got their offense back and Flacco did Flacco things, they have now made it to the point that they can make the Super Bowl here. Moving down to Dallas, we got the Cowboys, the annual playoff choke job. Now, I do think this team has the power, and their team is definitely a Super Bowl contender, but can they get over the constant choking? I'm not 100% sold yet, but despite that, I will put them in contenders because they definitely have the potential, they have the power, and give them a couple of favorable matchups, and they can make things happen. Now going back up north to Detroit, we got the Lions, and they are finally back after struggling every year since the 90s. They have won the NFC North for the first time and actually look to be a solid team. The problem with the Lions? The turnovers. If they turn the ball over like crazy, they will be first round exits to the Rams, but if they manage to protect the ball, they can contend for a Super Bowl. That being said, I have this team as a total wild card because you never know what Lions team you will get week in and week out. Staying in the NFC North, we go to Green Bay for the Packers. They barely squeaked into a playoff spot and have earned the right to go down to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. That being said, their season was pretty solid towards the end, but they will get absolutely curb stomped by Dallas. This is the easiest one of them all. First round exit, definitely. Now let's go ahead and move on over to Houston. The Texans have found their new franchise quarterback and head coach in C.J. Stroud and Tomeco Ryans, respectively being the first ever rookie quarterback and first year head coach to make the playoffs together. This team feels like a dream team Cinderella story. That being said, I feel like this story's pumpkin hour comes in the wild card round with a tough matchup against Cleveland. If they win, I would not be surprised and they can make the distance, but I do think they will be first round exits. That Cleveland defense, I think is just gonna be too strong and it will throw CJ Stroud off a little bit more in the playoffs. So, they have potential, but I really think they're going to lose first round, unfortunately. Keeping with the AFC trend, we're going to go over to Kansas City. These are not the Chiefs of old, but they still made the playoffs and anything can happen in the playoffs. Especially when they play at Arrowhead with the cold on their side. Their first round of the playoffs will be a freezer, and they will have an intriguing game against the Dolphins because of this. But this team has also had some WTF moments, so I am going to throw them as a total wild card. Now let's go ahead and change gears and talk about a franchise who really didn't belong here at the start of the season, but now feel like a special team. The Los Angeles Rams enter the 2023 season with minimal expectations. After an embarrassing Super Bowl defense, this team was just looking to be around 500 and somewhat competitive. They smashed those expectations and I see them as a potential team to make the Super Bowl. Hear me out here. They can beat anyone in the NFC, I feel like. They have a track record of playing San Fran well in the playoffs. And they have one of the best young running backs in the league in Kyron Williams who can dice up Dallas's defense. Keep in mind, the run game is the weakness of Dallas. So, you know, give them a few favorable matchups, prevent any injuries, and this team can make the distance. Now it's time to go to Miami where the Dolphins had the biggest choke job of a division since, well, since the Jaguars this season. But still, they all but had the division locked up and they blew it. Now they go to Kansas City for a frigid matchup in Arrowhead, and with key injuries, this team is likely a first-round exit, 
But if they manage to get the win there, anything is possible for this team. Now going over to Philadelphia where the Eagles are limping into the playoffs and they have just suffered a humiliating loss to the Giants in New York. It'll, I'll be honest with this team. They're not a divisional round lock to me. They are a very good team when they want to be. But overall, they are just unconvincing. And I can see them very much losing to Tampa Bay. So I am going to throw them in as a wild card because, you know, if you get a win over Tampa Bay, you know, anything's possible with injuries. But I just don't see them necessarily being the great team. But they could very well make some noise. Now going across the state to Pittsburgh and how in the actual hell did the Steelers make it in? They lost to two 2-10 two teams in back-to-back -back weeks, yet somehow make the playoffs. Yeah, this, this season is Mike Tomlin in a nutshell. Going out west to our second to last team, we have the San Francisco 49ers. They're Super Bowl contenders. Enough said. Need I say more? And last but not least for this video, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This team is a total wild card in my book as, man, they have been able to turn this team around real quick. And Baker Mayfield playing good football when he's the underdog can really make or break the game. But at the same time, for every great win they've had, They've had a couple of losses where it's like, what happened? And that last game going into the playoffs was not a confidence booster. Yes, they won 9-0, but that offense went flat. So that is concerning, but they can do anything depending on how things shake out. All right, well, that's about going to do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the video that's going to be down below me. It's one that YouTube thinks you will absolutely love. So why not go ahead and show YouTube that love and check it out? And with that, I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.